This is Alex Statistics, and today we're working combination problems. So let's take a quick look. From a group of 17 customers, five are to be chosen to receive a special gift. Now, assuming that the order in which the customers are chosen is irrelevant, and that's key text, by the way, for combinations, the order doesn't matter, how many groups of five customers can be chosen? So right away, we can see here by the text that we're dealing with a combination situation. And in this combination situation, we've got a fairly complicated situation because we have 17, um, and we're going to f choose from that five. Let's take a look at a much simpler problem first. Let's take a look at my marbles here. We have three marbles. I have a red, white, and blue, and let's suppose that we want to take combinations of these two at a time. So I can simply grab two marbles and move them over here to the other, the other side. Notice here that the order in which I've chosen these marbles, it doesn't matter whether it's blue, white, or white, blue, it's still a combination of two marbles. And we can see that in this situation, it'd be easy to count those up. We would have the blue and white, that'd be one way. We could have the red and white, that'd be another way. And lastly, the red and blue would be the third way. So the combination of three marbles chosen two at a time would simply be three, and there wouldn't be much work to do there. But in the more complex situation that we have, we have 17 customers, and we're going to choose them out of that in groups of five. And so that's going to be a much more difficult situation. Now, fortunately for us, we have a formula that's going to help us through the, do the work here. So let's quickly take a look at the formula that we have here, and this uh, is the formula for the number of combinations of n things, in this case 17 things, and the, we're taking those five at a time. Notice it is a combination because the order is irrelevant. We're not particularly interested in the order in which these things happen. It's just simply the combinations themselves. So we have a way to do that. What we'll do then is simply plug into the formula. So since n was 17 here, we're going to have 17 factorial on the top. Now down below that, we're going to have n minus r. That's going to be 17 minus 5, the quantity factorial, and then we're going to have r or the 5 factorial. So if we were to do a little bit of simplifying here, we would have 17 factorial. Down below there, 17 minus 5 is 12 factorial, and then multiplied by 5 factorial. This looks very much like the factorial problems that we've done earlier, and we're going to address that in exactly the same way. What we're going to do here is to look up and down. Notice that we have some numbers here that are pretty close together. 12 and 17 are pretty close together, at least closer than the 17 and the 5. So what we'll do is we'll start with the 17, begin counting down. 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 times 13. Now as we reach the 12, we will simply be able to cancel out the 12 factorial top and bottom. We also have the 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we're going to crunch through all of those numbers. It's going to be easier to do if we simply let the Alex calculator do that for us. So let's go over here, grab our Alex calculator, and just simply enter that in. We're going to have 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 on the top of our fraction. So we'll simply highlight that, hit the divide button. Down below we will have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this, of course, let the Alex calculator do the math for us. The answer that I get for this one is 6,188. Let's check and see if that's correct. Yes, it is. Now, while we're at it, though, let me show you an additional shortcut that might be nice. If you were to happen to have the TI-30XS, which is the calculator that we suggest for this class, you will find on here that this calculator will do a lot of this work for you. What you can simply do in this case is you can uh, Notice that on your calculator you have this PRB button, and so when you press that button, you will come up with a menu. Notice that the NCR, or the combination buttons, is number two on that list. So remember that, and we'll come back to that in a second. Clear your calculator. First of all, put in the number N. In our case, it was 17. Now we're going to press the PRB button, and then we're going to press the number two. That selects combinations. We put in the number five for our R value, and enter. And Immediately it tells us the answer, 6,188, and so that's exactly the answer that we got doing it the other way. Thanks for watching.